target disc mode or wondered what it was for? I'll be explaining what it is and what it can be used for. First, here's how to start up your computer in target disc mode. Make sure the computer is completely shut down before you start. Then hold down the T key and turn it on. Continue to hold down the T key until you see the Firewire logo on the screen. It should look like this. At this point, what you've done is turn the computer into a hard drive like this. That's right, the computer will behave exactly like an external hard drive. Now all you have to do is use the standard Firewire cable like this one and connect the two computers together. You should see an external drive pop up on your desktop like this. So when you open the icon, what you are looking for is the files that are located on this computer. Keep in mind this process works on desktop computers too. You can just as easily put a Mac Mini into target disk mode. Let's talk about the four common uses for target disk mode. Easy file transfer, accessing files on a damaged computer, the Apple Migration Assistant, and cloning a hard drive. An example of this would be if you have a file on your laptop computer and you would like to transfer it to your desktop computer. Normally you could copy it to a USB drive like this, or maybe burn it to a CD, or you could set up file sharing. But sometimes, especially if it's a large file, it's easier to use target disk mode. Here's how you would do that. Put the laptop into target disk mode, then you can browse through the files and drag the one you need over to your other computer. It's that simple. When you are done, drag the external drive to the recycle bin to dismount it. Now imagine for a moment your laptop was damaged. Maybe the screen was cracked. Well, you can use target disk mode to rescue the files. Remember when you first got your new Mac and it asked you if you want to transfer files from another Mac? That's the Migration Assistant. It helps you upgrade an older Mac to a newer Mac by trying to preserve as much of your personal stuff as possible. The Migration Assistant will give you several choices of how to accomplish this, but one of the methods is using target disk mode. Imagine you want to clone the computer or have a mirror image of the hard drive on this computer put onto another computer. Here's how you would accomplish that. Boot one of them up into target disk mode, then boot the other one from an OS X install disk. Once it boots to the installer, go to Utilities and open the disk utility. You can select another one of these drives, then click Restore. At this point, you can simply drag the drives you want to use from your source and destination. Just be careful not to get them mixed up or you'll wind up overriding the wrong drive. As you can see, there are many uses for target disk mode. Some of them may be useful to you. If you like this video, please be sure you like and subscribe. If you have a good idea for the next video, please be sure to leave a comment.